In this tutorial, we will teach you how to draw doodles using different tools in Adobe Illustrator. First of all, we will start by drawing a butterfly. For that, let's pick up the pen tool from the toolbar on the left side of the screen, and from the color swatches panel on the right, let's pick up a shade of pink. Now let's head back to the canvas, and here we will make the center of the butterfly. Remember, we are making a doodle over here, so details are not important. So let's create two anchor points here and curve the path by dragging the cursor like so. With that done, we will end up with a half circle with pointed tips. Now let's create the other half in the same way, and we will have the body for the butterfly. After that, let's swap the fill and stroke by clicking on this option over here. With that done, let's select white color for the object for now. Next, we will start drawing the wings of the butterfly. For that, we will pick up the brush tool from the toolbar on the left and start making a series of U's followed by a straight line, connecting to where we started from. The lines don't have to be completely straight or perfect. That's the whole idea of hand-drawn doodles. Now let's make the other wing in the same way. Next, let's make the antennas by drawing a circle followed by a straight line connecting to the head of the butterfly. After that, let's select the center body of the butterfly that we created earlier and bring it in front of the rest of the objects by pressing Control shift followed by the left-facing square bracket key. With that done, let's just increase the stroke weight of the object a bit to match with the rest of the drawing. Next, we will draw different objects on the canvas, starting with a heart. Let's choose a less thicker stroke option from the menu here before we get started. Now let's make a basic heart shape on the canvas. Keep experimenting with different ideas for your doodle artwork. For example, let's make a flower shape over here by making a series of U's in a circular path like so. Instead of using fonts and different typefaces, let's draw the letters using the brush tool as well. Remember, none of the letters have to look uniform, so the letter F can be wider as compared to the rest of the letters here. You can even paste images of different typefaces and draw over them, but for now, let's make a freehand drawing. Now let's write in a joint handwriting, cursive font style. We will use the paintbrush here to first write the letter S in capital. After that, we will join the rest of the letters to make a flowing font with all the words joined together. After that, let's make the circle over the letter I. Now let's add a few details to the objects we have already drawn on the canvas. For example, let's pick up the ellipse tool and make circles on the wings of the butterfly. The key here is to make the image look as much random as possible. The same can be done for the flower doodle as well, adding a circle in the middle of the flower to make the base of the flower. Shape tools can also be used to create new doodles. For example, Let's press the Shape option in the toolbar and select the Star tool from the menu. With that done, let's move to the canvas and make a simple star shape. Next, let's duplicate the star shape, decrease its size using the corner handles, and position it in the middle of the original shape. After that, let's open up the Pathfinder window and click on the Exclude option to create a compound shape and exclude the overlapping shape areas. After that, let's swap the fill and stroke by clicking on this option over here. With that done, our star doodle is complete. You can create different doodles using the twirl tool as well. For example, let's draw a simple circle using the ellipse tool. After that, we will pick up the twirl tool from the toolbar and apply it on the circle. Press the left click and the twirl tool will keep getting applied over the shape. You can move the cursor just a bit to determine the motion of the twirl. At the end, when you release the mouse button, you can see that a swirl has been created over the object. Okay, so now let's decrease the size and place it towards the corner of the canvas. Now we will take all the different objects that we have created and make a collage. First, let's select the entire butterfly and tilt it a bit, using the placeholders at the corner. After that, let's take the heart shape and duplicate it, placing it over at the corner here and decreasing the size. After that, Let's make two more duplicates and place them randomly on the canvas. Now let's take the flower doodle, decrease its size, make duplicates, and place them randomly all over the canvas. You can even change the size of the duplicated objects just to add randomness to the image. Now let's tilt the text a bit using the corner placeholders. 
After that, we will select the swirl objects, duplicate, and place it randomly on the canvas. Keep changing the size of the objects randomly all over the canvas. Next, let's select all the objects on the layer and copy the selection by pressing Ctrl C. After that, we will open up the Layers panel and create a new layer by clicking on this button here. On the new layer, let's paste the selection we copied earlier by pressing Ctrl V. You can move the entire artwork so that the copied artwork is placed exactly on top of the original artwork in the first layer. With that done, let's hide the second layer and select the first layer. After that, we will select the objects from the first layer which don't need to be filled with any color. That would be the swirled circles, this text over here, and the star shape. Now let's delete all the objects from this layer. After that, we're going to change the color of the entire artwork here. From the color swatches, we have chosen a lighter shade of pink. The color code used is EEA8AD. Lastly, let's choose None for the stroke. With that taken care of, we will unhide the second layer and lock the first layer. After that, we will select all the circles that we added before, that is, within the wings of the butterfly and the flower shapes. Now let's select a lighter shade of pink for these objects, closer to the color white. After that's taken care of, let's remove the selection and our doodle collage is complete. All the elements are drawn from scratch in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.